just a lot of shit. It's a lot. I feel like it's just, it's, you know, I feel like I'm being stuck in a really, really bad timeline. And meanwhile, you got motherfuckers that's thriving off of my misery, you know, picking up off my blessings and stealing that and stealing all my shit when that should be me there, you know, being set up to be fed off of in the astral plane for the rest of my life as a sacrifice while duly they're on the higher end in a better timeline and doing very, very well. And I was shown as Zendaya, the person who took over my body, going back to August the 22nd, 2022. They made them two people my higher selves, when in fact it should be me who should be my higher self. They were, you know, clinching false deals with their God. It's just, it's too much. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use my third eye to see exactly what's going to happen. You can use 694 hertz, by the way, for discernment. 15... 23 hertz to change timelines as well as 1171 hertz along with um sixteen fifty hertz could be used to open up portals i found that out last night and i think 1 million plus 1.5 million or something plus 1000 hertz You know, I'm very interested in breaking all of that shit so that we can become multi-dimensional beings and not just be confined to timelines and be confined to things. I I gotta get I, I gotta get this shit off, man. I gotta I gotta get out this slump. It, it's it's a spiritual cause behind it. If I try to do anything, it, it I gotta get this curse off. I I gotta something about what's going on so anyways with that being said i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and use my third eye to see exactly what's going to happen for us for today today's date is uh october the 24th 2024 so let me go ahead and use my third eye to see what's going to happen. I've had my fucking third eye taken out of me during this curse and every fucking thing else. This is just evil. All right, so I see you going down a steep incline, but it's towards something negative. It's going to be something that's going to fail you, and it's going to be something that might fuck you up. So be very careful, but you're going to have tenuous support, like a little bit of support. So I see you going into a safe place. I see past. I, I, I see you getting a lot of support. I see motherfuckers blocking something bad from happening. I'm also sensing past life ancestors, people who have your best interest at heart, coming in to help you out. I see you being blocked from seeing what's going to go on. You can use 694 hertz frequency to be able to break that. You're not being shown the truth, but you can use 694 hertz to do that. I see a way opening for you, but be careful of deception. Be careful of something trying to trip you up and show you the wrong thing. I see a major door being open, and it's the truth. It's going to be something that's going to be instrumental to helping you out. But again, you know, always be careful. Use the sermon. 694 hertz is your friend. Get the fuck away from me, man. These fucking flies. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, I feel lost. I don't like this feeling. You know, at least when this 
curse first hit me. I felt like there was a way out, but here I don't. I actually got this card, the Eight of Cups, the other day. All right. So right here, we got the Ace of Wands. And I see you. I see you breaking free of something, something that's been obstructing you. I see a way being created for you to be able to get yourself back together, put yourself back together, uplift it. I, I see maybe a woman coming your way to help you out. Get the fuck away from me, man. These fucking flies. So anyways, in the present position, we got the four swords. And I feel... I feel like it's an ambivalent energy. Like you don't know what's going on. You don't know what to do. So you just taking a respite and letting your mind figure it out, configure it for you. So right here, we got judgment. And I feel that with judgment, that's going to be in your future position. You're going to have somebody that's going to come in and they're going to judge you. It's going to be somebody that's going to provide you with a way out. It's going to be somebody that's going to judge you harshly, but fairly. And they're going to be very, very fair. And they're going to help you see the light. And they're going to help lift you up. I feel Billy Bailey fucking with me right now as I speak. So right here we got the Ten of Swords. And uh, that's in the subconscious position. That's your goals card. And I feel that you're at a point where you just feel dead tired. You feel you can go no more. There, there's, you feel dead. You feel stuck. So right here we got the Seven of Wands. And that's, um, oh, that's your goals position. And that's to fight this shit off. But you got to figure out who you're fighting before you start fighting. So right here we got the lovers, and that's your uh, your goals card. This is your subconscious card. This is your advice card. We got the lovers, and I feel that you should unite with people who may not even have your full best interest at heart, but unite with somebody that you know, because there's always strength in numbers that can render you help and assistance. I feel like something at your job. So right here. So for the magician, that's the energy that's all around you. I feel that there's something unseen that's putting a lot of fucking evil shit on you. That's that's compounding evil shit. You know, like I was shown that child was doing her best to help me out. And it was Billy Bailey, Baron Samity, and that angry hybrid motherfucker that was putting all sorts of disastrous shit in my timeline. Wanting to keep me stuck in skid row and mental hospitals and all sorts of evil ass shit while stealing my blessings and pilfering them. So right here, we got the Six of Swords. And I feel that with the Six of Swords being in that position, that represents an energy of, um, because there's something that's blocking me from being able to put myself back together every single fucking night. It, it's him. We got the Six of Swords. It's him and that Alex Nascimento motherfucker here. Right here, we got the Six of Swords. And that's your fears and your hopes card. And I believe that that's your hope card, which is to get the fuck away from a very disastrous, evil, malignant, malicious situation. So right here, for the outcome, we got the Eight of Cups. And I feel like you're exploring options. You know, I saw in the spirit plane the other day that I was being set up to become a God, but have everybody peel for off of me. And I, I'm not going out that way. I don't even believe that that's the way of God's. Having all your timelines, your blessings, and all of that be divested from you. I don't like that. So anyways, it's about dark around here. I'm about to get the fuck out of here. Peace.